Chris Archer making a start tonight in his 23rd of the season. And keep an eye on his slider usage. I think that's the main thing for me. He was way above his season average two starts ago, 44 out of 78, whatever percent that is. 3-2, swing and a miss, and down he goes as Devers slams down the bat, slams down the helmet, drops the batting gloves in disgust, and a frustrated all-star. Cutter Crawford trying to find his form. Three and five, ERA has gone up over five. Yeah, pressure's on Cutter Crawford to have a good outing. Here's the pitch, swing and a miss at an inside fastball. He got him, wow. Boy, that was a great sequence. Think about it, got behind 2-0, and oh, threw two off-speed pitches, put him away with a piece of cheese down and in. Gordon hitting over 320 over his last 27 games, was two for two last night. From the belt and the 1 0 pitch, a swing and a line drive, left center field in the gap. That's down a base hit. That's going to get by Fam and find the wall. Kepler is in. Here comes Miranda heading home. The relay throw to the plate is online. The slide, and he's safe. Miranda head first, sliding and scoring. Got the hand down before McGuire's tag. Gordon drives in two. Two nothing twins here in the opening inning. Good swing right there by. Nick Gordon and drives in two as we look at the replay of that Miranda slide. Good call, Dandy. That ball came free. Franchi Cordero next. He gets another start tonight at first base. Red Sox are keeping him in the lineup regularly now. And the 2 2 swag and a miss on a changeup. And Cordero is out number three. Archer has fan two, both left handed hitters. Cave, Celestino, and Sanchez. Jake 0 for three last night with a sack fly RBI. And a 1 1, a high fly ball, left center field deep in the gap. Has some carry going back as Hernandez at the wall, jumps up, that's gone. A towering blast that just kept on carrying into the bullpen. In left center field, Jake Cave is third, and the Twins have a 3-0 lead. That was hit in the air. And that's Cave's power. We've seen over the years Cave go that way quite often. And the Twins have a 3-0 lead as Archer goes back to work. Once again, the 2-2 pitch, ground ball in the hole, a short diving stop, Correa to his feet, long throw, skips it, stretching a rise, yes! Got him at first base! Correa got it, got that throw off, he skipped it a couple of times, a rise, stretching that body, angled out towards right field, and kept that right foot pinned on the bag. Great play all around. Hernandez is out number one. Ground ball the third off the bat of Tommy Pham. Urshela right there. Picks and throws him out. Archer has retired seven straight. Verdugo set to bat to begin the fourth. Verdugo with a walk in the first inning. And an 0-2. They'll knock that the other way. On the move, it's Kay, but it's going to drop in for a hit. He'll take a big turn and back into first base. But the Red Sox have their first hit against Chris Archer. And sends up Xander Bogart. It's 0 for 1. And that is going to be inside the line of fair ball. Off the short wall. Into third Verdugo. Into second is Bogarts with a double. Runs his hitting streak here at target to now 18 consecutive games. That dates back many years now. Goes all the way back to June of 16. And it's the longest opposing hitting streak in this building. So the Red Sox a hit away from jumping right back in this thing. Raphael is 0 for 1 with a strikeout. And he will fly this one. Got it. Maybe back on the warning track. No Celestino will track it down. The runner will tag. Here comes Verdugo. He is in to score. And Raphael will pick up his 66th run batted in. Archer sets at the belt. The pitch. Ground ball right side should be two. Gordon to Correa back to first in time for the double play. So Kike 0 for 1. Just not coming through in the key spots. Hit that one sharply and down for a base hit. Nice play by Kepler to lunge after that and hold him to one. Wire the batter. Tommy Pham would be next. There's a liner to the opposite field. Boy, he's so good at that. Cut off by Cave. Gets it back in quickly. Diving into third is Kike. No throw there. So the Red Sox with a couple of knocks here with one down in the fifth inning. So the Red Sox starting something. Here comes Tommy Pham. 0 for 2 tonight. 1 0 coming to Tommy. And a ground ball right field base hit. Here comes a run to score. Stopping at second is McGuire. It's three to two. I love Tommy Pham, Joe. I mean, he's so into this. He's pumping his fist going down the first baseline. He takes everything so seriously with the right amount of energy. I just think he's been such a lift for this club. Two out first and third. Xander Bogarts one for two a double. And a little pop fly shallow left center field cave coming hard. Can he get it? No it drops for a hit. And the Red Sox have tied it. Here's the throw to third as it bounced away momentarily. 
And safe at third is Verdugo, and we're tied at three. Xander lunged for a pitch away. He had such great bat control, he's able to get enough of it to get it just in front of the left fielder and over the head of the shortstop. It was a breaking ball. J.D. on the night, it grounded a short and a walk. And that one is off the glove to the backstop. Here comes Verdugo to slide in, and the Red Sox have the lead on a wild one on top four to three. Yeah, take it any way you can get it. Correa, 0 for 2, a pop up and a fly out. And a pitch. A little flare in the shallow right center field, long run. Here comes Verdugo, drops it. Verdugo ran a long way, but had it, and for some reason, Oh my, Verdugo's gonna watch the big screen here and he called for it and just hit the heel of his glove. So they're loaded up with one down and Nick Gordon to the plate, drove in two with a double this first time up. A drive to deep right center field, a grand slam for Nick Gordon. That was a nice piece of hitting. First of his career, he's gonna get that ball back. He's got a lot of velocity, Brazier does, but Nick Gordon seeming to time him up. Former first round pick that's overcome so much physically. We'll bring up Sanchez. Sanchez over two, a foul out and a strikeout. And that ball's hit high in the air, left field. And that ball is way out of here. Congratulations. Gary Sanchez is 150th home run. Twins lead 8-3. Tape measure 94 in and up, and Sanchez a long way out to left. Been a rough night defensively for Verdugo. Here's the pitch. Driven into the gap in right center field. A long run back into his left for Celestino at the wall. He looks up, and it's off the wall. Pham comes to third. He is going to score. Into second base sliding with an RBI double is Alex Verdugo. Now some measure of atonement. And the Red Sox back within three. It is eight to five. J.D. Martinez leads off the eighth inning. A broken bat fly ball, shallow center field. That ball sinking, fading, and sliding is Celestino. Makes a fine catch, one out. I thought that was going to land. As Gordon raced out from second, Celestino came in, and a feet first sliding. Nice play by Celestino. A bullet, and Correa picks it off eight inches off the ground. Jets comes in, has a one, two, three, eighth inning. The rise, the batter, 0 for 4. Two strikeouts, a fly ball, and a ground ball. And here it comes, a line drive, left center field. Coming on, Hernandez won't get it, base hit. Scoring Celestino, Sanchez makes second. It's a 9-5. Twins lead as a rise, drives in his 42nd run. And the Twins have a four-run lead once again. Twins 9, Red Sox 5. One in, two on, one out, first and second, Correa. And the pitch. Line drive, base hit, left field. Sanchez to third base, has the green light from Tommy Watkins. Tommy Pham fires towards the plate, cut off near the mound. An RBI single for Correa. It's a 10-5 game. Good piece of hitting, though, by Correa. Pulled that ball with power in the hole. It's short. It will be Emilio Pagan coming in to pitch to the Red Sox of the ninth inning. Tap weekly first base line. It's going to be a rise playing it. Feeds Pagan, who catches and steps on the bag to end the game. And that's out number three. Twins make it two straight in this series. They have won five in a row, 67-61, and 61, as they defeat the Red Sox here tonight, 10-5.